Hey guys, so for today's video, I created this gorgeous purpley blue intense look with the new Michaela and Glam Light Part 2 palette. I finally got it in the mail. Shipping took about three weeks, but it is here and I'm excited to create some looks with it. So if you guys want to see how I created this stunning, gorgeous look, go ahead and keep on watching. I'm going to start by priming my eyes with the Rare Beauty Eyeshadow Primer. I'm just going to apply that all over my lid. I'm just gonna tap that in with my finger. I'm sorry if my voice is kind of quiet and like raspy. I did just wake up. It's like 100 degrees in Oregon this week and so I gotta film pretty early in the mornings because I don't have AC in my apartment. Um, that's just Oregon for you. So gotta film bright and early this week. And then as always, I'm gonna set that with the RCMA No Color Powder. I'm so excited to dig into this palette today because whenever I use a palette for the first time, I just kind of use like whatever shades are speaking to me. So I just get to have fun and kind of do like whatever I want. So I'm excited for today's look. I hope you're excited. Here is what the palette looks like if you haven't seen it yet. I am a sucker for purple and green eyeshadow. So when I saw this palette came out, I was like, I need this right away. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure what I want to do today, but like I said, I'm just going to dig into this and have fun. So here we go. I'm gonna start with this Pat Rice shade on a Sigma E57. And I'm gonna start by packing that in my outer crease. And then taking a clean Sigma E27 and just starting to blend that out. So I know these shades are super pigmented and I'm pretty sure that Glam Light's formula works best when you pack it on and then blend it out. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of that today. Usually I like to just start with my blending brushes, but that's just not how their formula works and that's totally fine. I probably will be using my Sigma Switch a lot today. I love this product for just getting pigment off of the brush. So it makes it easy to switch between shadows. Now I'm gonna take No Harsh Lines on that same E57 and that's gonna go in my inner crease. I think I want to do a gradient today from like dark purple, maybe black to purple to blue. I think that's my plan for today. And then I am kind of connecting these two shades right here in the crease and they blend really well together. And then again, just going back to that E27 and starting to blend out those harsh lines, even though the shade is literally called no harsh lines. Now I'm taking a little more of that Pat Rice shade and just kind of blending those two together. Also, why is this shade called Pat Rice? And then touching up No Harsh Lines one more time. Now I'm going to take Mimu on my E57 and I'm going to pack this shade on the outer crease. And blending with the E27. Again, I'm taking more Pat Rice on this brush. It's kind of like my blending shade today. So using that to soften this out. I feel like that Mimu shade did give me a harsh line right there. You see how where I packed that on, it's like not blending out very well. Hopefully as I add more shadow, that's just like, you're not gonna see that as much. So we'll see how that goes, but just wanted to point that out. All right, so I have a nice gradient in my crease and I can kind of do like whatever I want on my lid. Hmm, there's like honestly so many options. Like how do I pick a shade? Help me. So I'm gonna take the shade U on my finger. <clears throat> Oh my gosh, this looks like a really cool shade. And I'm gonna start by packing that on my outer lid. So right underneath this purple. Oh my gosh. That pigment is crazy. So this is gonna look super sloppy at first as I lay on the shadows, but of course I will blend them out. And now I'm gonna pick up Oh My God, and that's gonna go on the inner part of my lid. I 
And now I'm just kind of blending those two together in the center of my lid. All right, now we're gonna go back to our handy dandy E27 and I'm gonna start to blend out this darker blue. All right, so now I need some shade right here in the crease to connect that purple to the blue. So I'm gonna take a little bit of Wicked Awesome and adding that into the outer crease. I feel like this palette really has like everything I want. Like I'm thinking of a shade that I need to blend and I look down and there it is. I feel like this palette is like really well thought through. Does that make sense? This shimmery deep blue shade is freaking beautiful. Okay, I wanna work on this inner lid so I'm actually gonna touch up that Oh My God shade. Now that I did some blending, it did fade away a little bit, which is totally normal. And then I kind of really wanna try this I Love You shade, so I'm gonna take a little bit of that on my finger. Like I said, whenever I'm playing with the palette for the first time, it's so fun for me, because I can literally just like do whatever I want. So I have a little bit like that. And this is gonna go in like the inner crease. I think these are the prettiest shimmers I have ever put on my lid. Okay, I love that I love you shade. I feel like that just made the inner crease like really pop. I just wanna blend out this area a little bit more. So again, I'm gonna clean off my E27 on my Sigma Switch. See like the brush looks dirty, but like there's no pigment coming off of it. That's why I love the Sigma Switch. I'm gonna take a little bit of this Mama Wang shade and I'm just gonna use this to blend like right below the brow just to make this a little bit smoother. All right, I feel like that looks much better up there. And I just wanna show you guys, like I really don't have much fallout right now. I didn't do my foundation before because I thought I would have a bunch of fallout, but honestly, it's pretty good. So I think the top lid is good for now. I'm gonna go pop on some foundation around my eye and then we'll do the lower lash line and of course finish up the eye together. Can I just say I'm having so much fun filming this video right now. Like it really reminds me of how I used to do my videos like a couple of years ago, just like the super close up eye looks, um, literally just doing one eye because that's all I can do right now in this heat. <laughs> so I added foundation, concealer, and powder all around my eyeball. Now let's do the lower lash line. I think I want to do more purple on my lower lash line because I feel like the lid is very blue focused. So I'm going to take a Sigma E21 in this deep purple authenticity and I'm going to place this along my entire lower lash line. <laughs> All right, then back to my E27, I picked up more of that lightest shade Mama Wang and just using that to soften up this purple. I'm also gonna add a little bit of that Pat Rice shade. And I'm making sure I get some of this purple kind of right on this edge of the blue so the purple kind of wraps around the eye just makes the look look a little more cohesive more put together I'm gonna deepen up that authenticity shade one more time And then if you ever feel like your eyeshadow shape got a little funky, maybe you pulled this out too far, one of my favorite tricks to do is just to take a foundation powder. This one's the Charlotte Tilbury one. And I take it on a large flat brush like this and I kind of use this as like a little magic eraser, just right along those edges. It really softens it up and kind of cleans up any mistakes. <laughs> All right, now for the inner corner, I need to pick a gorgeous sparkly shade, of course. I'm gonna take this white shade glazed on my pinky and we're gonna pop that in the inner corner. Oh, that's perfect. And then I might drag a little bit up into the inner lid right here. Oh, 
these shimmers guys i can't get over it all right now i am going to add a black in my waterline and then i'm just going to lightly smudge that out with my e21 All right, I love how this looks. I'm gonna go pop on some mascara and lashes. I will be right back. All right, the eyes are all done. And for my lashes, I'm wearing my brand, The Bright Lashes, and I'm wearing the Style Lush. It's a pretty bold lash, but I feel like with the look as intense as this, you kind of need a bold lash. And here is what the final look looks like. I am freaking obsessed. I know I said it like 12 times throughout this video, but these shimmers are literally to die for. Like, I don't think I've ever been so obsessed with the shimmer formula, especially that it has such little fog. Out. Like for example, I love Anastasia shimmers, but I get fallout all over my face with them. But like, I'm so impressed with this formula, the quality, the shades are absolutely stunning and I can't wait to keep using this palette. I'm definitely gonna do a couple more tutorials with this palette. I of course have to do a green look, maybe like a purple and green look because I love purple and green together. So I definitely have more looks I wanna create with this palette, but let me know if there's any specific shades you'd like me to use. Congrats to Michaela yet again on another beautiful collaboration. You killed it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.